Hello and welcome to the new video of GPA tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn the Criteria API. The Criteria API is one of the most common ways of constructing queries for entities and their persistent state. It's an alternative method of defining GPA queries. Criteria API defines a platform independent Criteria queries written in Java. It was introduced in GPA 2.0. The main purpose behind this is to provide a type safe way to express a query. Let's start using the select. I'm going to create a new method inside the student repository called getStudent with criteria builder to select all students inside the table. First, I'm going to use the entity manager to create a criteria builder object. After that, Using the criteria builder, I'm going to use the criteria query. The criteria query is used to create a query object. Then, using the criteria query dot from, I'm going to create the query root. Always using the criteria query object, I'm going to use its method select to set the result list type. Before completing the method, I'm going to use again the entity manager and its method create query, passing the select object in order to create the typed query instancy. The typed query instancy is used to prepare a query for execution and specify the type of query result. Last but not least, I'm going to use the getResultList method Let's test it in the app class. And then let's run it. We have print the list of students. Let's change a little bit the method get student with criteria builder, adding the order by clause. The order by clause is used to sort the data, arrange them ascending or descending order. The criteria query interface provides order by method to define the type of ordering. I'm going to take my student list and sort them in ascending order by first name. Let's test it. Good. I have my list sorted by first name. Now I want to change the order from ascending to descending and see the result. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move on to the WHERE clause. The WHERE clause is used to apply condition on the database and fetch the data on the basis of that condition. Inside the student repository class, I'm going to create a new method called getStudent with WHERE first name in order to fetch all student with the first name that is s first name underscore one or s first name underscore two. To do that, I'm going to use the WHERE clause with the in operator. As I did in previous method, I'm going to use the criteria builder, criteria query, and the typed query object. Now, let's test the method and see the result. Inside the log, I have my student list from the get student with criteria builder method with three elements. Then I have the result of the get student with where first name with two elements because they satisfy the where condition on the first name. Last but not least, group by clause. The group by clause is used to collect data from one or more tables and arrange them in a group. I'm going to use the clause inside the get student with where first name after the where clause and I'm going to group by last name. Let's test it. In this video, you have learned how to use the criteria API in JPA, where we use the select where, order by, and group by close. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. In the description you can find the link of the GitHub repository and if you have any question don't hesitate to add a comment inside the section below and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be updated with a new video they will upload. See you in the next video, bye!